This is Matt with the Millisecond Solution. Keeping the solution fast to the point. The topic today is dynamic URLs and info path. Now, there's a couple reasons you, you would do this. Uh, maybe you want to call an external workflow, or maybe you want to, to pass a parameter to a web page, or maybe you want to open up a SharePoint list, but you want to pass it a parameter uh, in advance. Now, to do this, you need to have a couple of things. You need to have the link to the URL or the, the item, the workflow, perhaps. You'll need some method of modifying the parameters of that URL, and you'll need a hyperlink control. Now, over here on my right-hand side, you're going to see I have an item key, and if I type in 12, for example, and then I have a button to hit create link. What it's going to do, if you look here, you're going to see it pass the number 12 uh, into my URL. So item number 12. So you could use InfoPath to look up a value and then call a workflow, passing that value to it, and then executing. And then you can have it pull all the rest of the information down. Now the way this works, you have to understand the URL. You have three primary parts of color code, and this is the starting point of the URL. All right, this is the parameter ID. This is the dynamic value number that, that we can give it. And this is the ending portion. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to merge multiple values to a single string. And in InfoPath and uh, well, several other programming languages, it's called concatenate. Uh, if you use the concat function, it will merge the values. And you'll see here is an example of that. Now to get to that point, you're going to use an event. <clears throat> I've got a button here that's going to create our link and I'm using a set values and I've defined my field to modify and then this is our function right here. You can concatenate. Notice for the string values I'm putting these in quotes. The item key is a value within the info path form and then this is also in quotes. Once you do that you should be good to go. Like I said, a couple reasons is to call external workflows passing the ID. So instead of using a button for event, you could use a hyperlink. Make sure you set the hyperlink control to read only as well. It'll keep you from doing some crazy things. Anyway, I hope this helps a little bit. I know I was a little bit all over, but uh, enjoy.